Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about creating a workflow for getting email notifications about new items in a list or a document library. This method works on both lists and document libraries. So I've previously shown you the alert me, which is very simple. I've also shown you the list settings under advanced here, the feature to send email notification when ownership is signed. That only works for tasks or issues. Now this third method is creating a workflow. And I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer to do that. So I'll click on the start and I'll search for Designer. And there's the SharePoint Designer desktop app. I'm going to open that. And there we go. And then I'm going to open the site. Of course, I want to take this URL. When you take the URL, make sure they only get the URL to the site, not to the actual list that you want to customize. SharePoint Designer usually does a rather good job of that, but it's an important distinction between the URL to the site and the URL to the list. So now it's opening that site. And here we have the regular start page and as you see when I click on things here I get into something called a summary page for the item that I've selected so here's the summary page for the entire site now I'll go into lists and libraries and find my IT tickets list I'm going to click on that and now I'm into the summary page of my IT tickets list and here I can see a lot of different settings for that list and what I'm going to do now is create a workflow in another demonstration, I'll talk about the differences between a SharePoint 2010 workflow and a SharePoint 2013 workflow. In this case, I'll keep it simple and use the SharePoint 2010 workflow. It's slightly simpler and will give me a quicker demo. And even if you don't have the 2013 workflow, which is often the case in on-premise, then this will work. So I'm going to notify high importance tickets. So that's what I want to do. If a ticket has high prio, send email to the assigned person. That's what I'm going to make this workflow do. So as I said, this works both with the SharePoint 2010 and 2013 workflow. There we are now. I'm now in the text-based designer for a SharePoint 2010 workflow. What I want to do now is use a condition if a current item field equals value. I'm going to select the field priority. There we go. If that is high, in that case, I'm going to send an email there. And I'm going to send it to the assigned person. Workflow lookup, add current item, assign to. There we go. And I'm going to make sure to return that field as an email address, otherwise, you'll get into trouble. Click OK. You have a new ticket assigned to you. And then to keep it simple, this time I'm just going to add a link to the list. So let's just copy the view here to my issues. And I'll add a link there. Click here. And then an address. There we go. Click here. OK. And the most important step that I don't want to miss here is uh, setting the start options for this. I'm going to start the workflow automatically when an item is created or changed. There we go. And then I simply publish this workflow. And the difference between the save and the publish is that save allows you to continue working on the workflow or modifying the workflow, but it doesn't really do anything. If you publish it, then you enable the workflow and of course you save also. There we go. Now I'm going to create a new item here. Actually, let's make this a change. We'll just edit this item and change that to a high priority and then save. And now in a few seconds, my workflow should run. I'm going to open my mailbox here. There we go. Open a new tab. I can go in here and check my uh, advanced here. I'll see the workflows. And then I can see if the workflow has actually run yet. That's not. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. You have a new ticket assigned to you. Let's see. I'll go back here again. 
and check that again now it should be in there advanced workflows right there's the completed one it was just completed a few seconds ago and here we go here is my email and it's sent from SharePoint online which is fine and here is the link which takes me to that IT tickets list with my issues. So that concludes my demo on how to create a workflow in SharePoint Designer that sends an email automatically to high priority assignees. Thank you for watching this demonstration.